Hello Libra and welcome to your weekend guidance tarot reading for December 6th through the 8th. I am Nina, the reader here on the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining. So let's get started here. Jump right in. Jump right in. Most important message for Leo, Libra spirit. What does Libra need to see for this weekend? <laughs> I keep saying Leo. So um, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Or have Leo in your, your chart. But I actually had to start this video over because I kept saying Leo. So let's go Libra. I was meaning Libra. It was just coming out Leo. This is similar to the cards that came out last week for the weekly reading, I believe. Um, TikTok, building blocks, exchanging gifts. I feel like there is something that's ha in the works, something that's happening. Um, this is happening in divine timing, but it's creating a salt. The process you're going through right now is creating a solid foundation um, for the future, wherever it is that you're headed. I also feel like there, for instance, if you're waiting for something, if you're in a period of waiting, don't look at it as waiting, waiting for a relationship to come together, waiting for this, waiting for that, waiting for a job, waiting for Christmas. Look at it as the journey to the outcome, right? So the journey up to Christmas is learning something new every day about the meaning of Christmas. Um, the journey to, to buying a new car is preparing your garage or your driveway or your parking spot for that new car, maybe doing some research, um, looking at the kind of car that you want, maybe your price range, all this different, these different things, right? You're not just sitting around waiting to go buy this car. I'm pretty sure you're actively doing things to move towards that position. And I feel like some people lack that in relationships. And I feel like that's why I am being called to talk about this, Libra, is because um, you may be in a waiting period for a job or a relationship and understand that this waiting period, there's gifts within this waiting period as well. Okay, so that's why a lot of spiritual teachers, um, spiritual healers will tell people to live in the moment and be present and meditate and contemplate and all this stuff. What that really is symbolizing is Yes, you want to focus and plan and put your intentions out there, right? Know where you're going. But then you also have to take a step back from that and work on forming that goal, that dream. So, for instance, relationships. If there's a relationship that you are trying to be in or a person that you're trying to be with, you're going to be preparing yourself to be that person's partner, I'm not just going to go around raw dog and everything in sight. Excuse my French. So let's see here, Libra. And I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying that's what's going on. That's just an example I thought of. So let's see here, Libra, what we can see about these building blocks. Like you're in the process of building a solid foundation for yourself, for sure. Um, 
I am being pulled to more of a relationship vibe. Um, sorry, guys, if the volume is off. Sometimes I'm uh, looking away at the spread. So I'll try to be consciously aware of that. So let's see here, Libra, what we can see for you, for you guys for December 6th through the 8th. Most important message spirit for Libra for the 6th through the 8th. What does Libra need to see? Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups, Knight of Cups is definitely a love offer for sure. I feel like you are breaking karmic ties. Um, this could be a person, place, or a thing moving forward from a situation that was deceitful. Dishonest. And I feel like you're moving towards something that is a little bit more traditional. Okay. There is still an air of healing. I feel like that may be something that you need to work on, Libra, is healing. Especially, especially if you're getting out of a relationship. One thing that I'm going to add is um, it's not good to, I personally feel, a lot of people feel the only way to heal is to occupy the space with another person, but I truly feel like the best way to heal is to be alone, to get to know yourself. Self-love, self-healing, self-discovery process. Okay. I do get the sense that um, this is something that you're not wanting to see. I feel like you know, you are aware that this needs to take place. But the Two of Wands is like not seeing things for what they truly are. And what I feel like this is pertaining to is the healing. I feel like you're not, you, I feel like you feel, you think you've already healed, um, but deep down inside, there are little triggers that still bother you. So what I would suggest, and I'm going to pull some more cards. We're going to get some clarity out here, Libra. I feel like really just standing in your independence. Um, King of Pentacles, Empress, really just standing your ground. Getting back in your own routine. Self-care, self-discovery, self-healing. I do get the sense here that there's still some sadness lingering from the past, okay? So let's get some clarity here. I want to get some clarity on this Seven of Swords. We'll start at the top and work our way down. Um, deceitful energy. 
I feel like the person that you were dealing with might have been a player. They were very money motivated. And this may have very well been a person from your past. Somebody that you either knew from your past or you felt a deep connection to. Let's get some clarification here on this devil in reverse spirit. What's this devil in reverse here for Libra? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Breaking these ties and moving on. I feel like you may have waited for a situation prior to this waiting. And that may be why you're reluctant. That's why the oracle cards... Um, were coming up the way they were. It's time to make a plan. Focus on the plan. The movement forward. Remember the part that I said about creating the space for a vehicle? And you're going to do the research and you're going to plan it out. Maybe even budget and do all that stuff. That's where this movement forward comes in. <clears throat> making that plan. making that, Whether it's relationships, whether it's career what are the steps you're going to take to get the outcome that you desire? I am going to do an extended reading, Libra, on this spread. I'm going to take a little bit deeper look into this past healing. I really want to see what's going on with this past healing. I also want to see... Um, what you're moving towards. What are you moving towards? A new relationship, a new house, a new job, a new relationship, house or job. What's it going to be, Libra? So, I am flexible and flowing. I am open to the new and changing Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily and effortlessly. I am flexible and flowing. So Libra, if you guys want to get in on the extended reading, that information is below in the description box. Um, also, guys, I'm going to be putting out a life plan video here very soon. I'm trying to figure out how to do a slideshow tutorial video for you guys, um, but I don't have video editing software um, that I've purchased yet. So unless I pay somebody to do that for me, we may have to get creative. So look forward to that um, within the next week or so. All right, Libra, thank you guys so much for all the love and support, liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting below. It's all very much appreciated. You guys are amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.